Right, so I've done a bit more to the brooder. Um, I've cut that bit of plastic in half because um, it wouldn't quite go over the central spine. So I've cut it in half and put it either side. Uh, I've put the bit of plastic in the headboard end and I've modified a couple of these. Um, so obviously I only had one before. So obviously if I fix them two together, we'll have two either side. So then that'll have a side on the headboard. So next job is to stick these black bits down. Um, obviously, as I say, stick these side panels together and then begin um, boarding it out. I have got to order the channel to go on the sides. And then once we've got that, we'll um, paint it all and then get the decking down. I've just bought lolly sticks. Um, I bought 50 of them. I laid them all out this morning and it covers the top bit here. So I'm probably gonna need 150 of them. So I need to order some more. And also the um, Tamiya Kingpin. So that's where we are at the moment. I will come back once I've got a bit further along. So a quick update while I was having my lunch, I just thought I'd have a little play with this. Um, I've trimmed off the old Bruder coupling. That needs a little bit of a file down yet. And then I've got a bit of plate and I've bought one of these um, fifth wheel pins from eBay. So then I can put that in there, centralize where it needs to be. I've got loads of room to play uh, and then fix that down. And then we've got a hitch. And then once all that's done and it actually works on the truck, I can um, start boarding out the bed. So I'll get this centered and fixed down and try it out. Right, it's been a few weeks since I've done any more to the brooder trailer conversion, but the channel's turned up to fill in the gaps. So it fits in there, and it fits in there. So I need to um, get a saw, measure these out, cut them down, and get them stuck on. I'll show you that in a minute. And there we go, trim down. The only problem with this channel is it is 16 mil and not 17 mil deep. Mm, I don't think it's hugely noticeable, but it is just noticeable. I couldn't seem to find 17 mil, but we'll try and feather the edges out. Um, and we'll obviously fill it and paint it and hopefully it won't be that noticeable, but there we go. So we're getting there. That's this side done. Now the other side. And the other side is done. Now, I'm thinking on how to secure it, because obviously we've got the alley rails there. So I'm thinking maybe if I put one in there, a screw, like one of these um, Allen screws, and then every five mil, sorry, every 50 mil along, it will kind of look like it's supposed to be there. And then obviously put a couple in this side as well. Um, and then that will obviously hold it there and then we can smooth it off with a little bit of filler and stuff as opposed to trying to glue it. I don't know how the glue would hold. So I think that's what I'll probably do. And then um, paint it all and probably take the screws back out before I paint it and put them back in so they look shiny metal, I think, as opposed to painting screws. I think painting over screws that you're going to see looks a bit naff i don't know we'll see i suppose i could paint some see how it looks and change them for some normal ones once it's painted see if it looks like all right i don't know but anyway so that's done next is to drill the holes get them mounted and then we can start um paneling up i suppose the um the floor I think I might either put a, one piece of wood all the way along and then maybe use a soldering iron to sort of mark it or put a piece of wood all along and then stick the lolly sticks, cut down lolly sticks on to make it look like planks. So I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Um, but there we go. Progress. Right, so I've had another hour or so on the uh, brooder. I've cut out some ply as a base. Um, as that will take up any indifferences in the floor. 
And I've also done one for the headboard. Obviously they're the screws that are just holding the um, pin in at the minute. It should be stuck solid now, but I've just left them there anyway for now. And I started making up this bit. I've run out of lolly sticks now though. And I've obviously got to finish that edge and trim it down. But that goes on there. Obviously I've ground the edges down to make a bit of a ramp. It's gonna be quite rough. I think most of these trailers are fairly rough in, in normal use. Um, and then obviously we'll do the same on this and we'll probably get some more sticks and make a ramp all the way down. So that's completely covered. So I've just ordered some more. Um, I'm waiting on the drill bits as well to drill these bits on. So just a little update on this. I've, I've ground that end edge down, but I need to do something else with that yet. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna finish that edge. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But for now anyway, I'm cracking on. Um, I don't know whether that coloring's all right, whether I need to varnish it or dirt it up or burn it or something, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But at least I haven't I haven't fixed these down yet because obviously I want to paint the trailer once all this is together. So I don't want to paint the wood. So I, can, I thought if I put it on the board like that, I can crack on with the sticks and then obviously I can paint the trailer and then put this all down as one lump. So that's the plan. Anyway, next job. Right, so I've got a bit further forward on the brooder. Um, I've found an oil patch on the floor down there and wiped a load of oil over it. In the video, in, through the phone, it looks real patchy and obvious, but actually in real life, it doesn't. So I don't know what that is. Um, I'll probably do a bit more yet. I've just dusted some black spray paint over it as well to try and calm it down, both ends. Um, so now I need to work out a ramp. So I'm wondering whether I can use these again, just obviously trim the round edges off and just put them all the way along. Um, Obviously I won't do it yet because I need to paint the trailer, but I'm just working with it. But I'm quite upset in the video that looks really patchy, but in real life it doesn't. Anyway, it's coming along. Well, the brooder is blue. Looks a bit funny at this angle because I've not put loads of coats on the top because obviously that's all being panelled out. So it's just round, really around the sides and the headboard and the back that's been done. So I'm hoping this blue sticks and stays. I've done a whole tin on it. I've done several coats. So I'll leave it overnight, see how it looks in the morning, and then I will fix down the wood panelling. Um, hopefully it'll be all right. I haven't fixed the extension side pieces on other than with glue. I did say I was gonna drill them. Um, so I'm hoping they stay but we will see how that goes. We might have to um, fix them on afterwards, but I thought I'd try glue so it didn't have any obvious signs. I mean, to be fair, you can see where I've joined it. It's not seamless. I've not filled it. Um, so, yeah. Maybe we'll revisit it, but at the minute, I just wanna see whether it all works and um, yeah, see how it looks once it's all together. Right, well here we are. The brooder is painted, it's decked, and it's ready to go. Um, I have chipped the paint there, and I do need to probably do something with them, but from a distance, it ain't too bad. On the back of the Actros, I need to do something with that gap as well. So, yeah, chuff with that. <laughs> 